Welcome everyone to my tutorial how to create anything in Archicad. Today I will show you the profile manager. The profile manager can be found in your taskbar here. It's right here. If uh, the symbol isn't there, you can find it via window palettes and there is the profile manager. In older versions, it's I think it's yellow in Archicad 19 or even older versions. In Archicad 20, there are no colors except blue. We will start by clicking on it and you see a new menu opens. There you can choose between your own profiles and profiles which Archicad already built, but today we want to create our own. So we go on this symbol, which means new profile, and then we can give it a name. First of all, we will start with a kicking board and a new window opens. You can see it here and you can see you have no ability to choose 3D options. You can build no walls, you can build no roofs and something like this because this is a 2D window only. We will start with some lines. We draw some lines first and we will start on the origin point. This is very important. If you've ever wondered for what the origin point is good for, today you will see it. And yes, we draw our outlines first. For example, it will be six centimeters high and maybe two centimeters deep. And we will give it a little curve here fine and maybe we can create something like this doesn't have to make much sense at all I just want to show you how the profile manager works now we have our outlines but how does the profile manager work it works with hatches you will find them here and in the profile menu or in the profile window the hatches work different than in, for example, the floor plan or in the section or any, anywhere else. So you will have all the pre-manufactured materials in your hectares. You will see it here or press Ctrl or Command and T and then you will see you have all materials here. So our kicking board should be made out of wood. So we choose wood. And then we use our magic wand and press just into our outlines. Okay, that's tricky because we don't see the hatcher here. But when we click on it, we will see, okay, it is here. The lines do not matter. Just the hatcher is important. So what we can say right now, we're finished. Just save the profile. Before we do that, we can choose where will our profile be available in the walls or in the columns for example but we want to draw walls with it it's, uh, the kicking the kicking board should be a little wall and we save it as a wall and we will see it here on the on the mini picture and that's okay it's saved and we can close the window if we press on the x this window will automatically close Okay, we go inside our little room and we go on walls and now we can choose on the structure our own designed walls and there we have our kicking board what we just designed this is from a from a video try I made some minutes ago um, so this is what we just designed. It's two centimeters by six centimeters, exactly what we want. Okay, and why I said the origin point is important. The origin point is our is the line where we draw it. Okay, we have now we we will draw a kicking board, yes, and we will start here, and go over there to this point, and we will finish in the corner. Okay, and that's exactly what we wanted. It's so easy. Now we have our kicking board. And they are exactly like walls. If they're not if they're not closed, 
you can choose them and press shift command or control and v and they are closed and you can cut them you can split them you can do everything with them just like in wars okay that's the kicking board i will show you another thing this is a bim model it might be not very correct or useful but um, imagine this is a this is a already built bim model but what is missing on this roof the attic now we will draw an attic in the profile manager new profile call it attic uh, i don't know the, the measurings right now but it doesn't matter we just begin with the height maybe 30 centimeters and then we will have for example um one centimeter or so one and a half centimeter cladding and 20 centimeter isolation and then we will have 11 and a half centimeter wall bricks and ah maybe the isolation will be here too doesn't matter if it's correct and we will have some cladding here too and here we will have a little piece of wood and over it we will have our, our attic metal you can just draw the lines and choose all the lines and we can use this move all edges press one time on control so you see the little plus on the cursor and we create another outline and we can just connect the lines so we can use the magic wand to press inside when we have our hatches selected we go on the hatches uh, now we have wood yes we want to have wood here we want to use some metal here and we want to use some isolation here and we want to use some clang here and here and of course the walls here so we're finished we have hatches everywhere inside yes looks good we start here on the origin point it's important and we will use it for walls and we can press on save that's everything and now we go into our walls own walls yeah third option attic there it is and we can draw it we can draw it in 3d we can draw it in 2d doesn't matter maybe it's faster on the floor plan so we can just click with the magic wand on it and all four walls will be finished so you can see how quick we trot an attic doesn't look good here but that doesn't matter we can change it later we don't have to do it right now so the third thing i will show you are some uh, stairs that are not straight they will have an angle so we just go back profile manager new profile stairs oh, not stars it's stairs and where's the origin point here it is okay maybe okay it doesn't have to be correct you know what i mean and that's good five and, and some meters how high three meters well this doesn't make any sense three meters okay and okay we will use multiplicate and say we need 16 steps or 17 okay and we do the same thing okay this doesn't make sense we do the same thing here now we have this pattern and we can use our hatches 
and we say it's just concrete. Change the geometrics. This will take a little while until we're finished. There it is. Save again, close the window, and we will have it in our walls again. There it is. And we can, right now we draw it in the floor plan. And you see, it will create the angles automatically. And that's the cool thing about the profiles. If we go into 3D, okay, we'll be on the same level, but we can choose them select them and put them down and so we have some angled stairs that's a very cool feature so right now i will show you some examples i created some inspiration what you can create with the profile manager i hope you learned something you enjoyed the video if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel have a great day